What do you think life would be like if you had surgery? Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if everything went well, it would just to, I've, I've, I've. Look you know. at your face. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Because I fantasized about that, like waking up in the morning and just everything being clear. Mm -hmm. You fantasized about that. Right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> that would be so stinking crazy. Like, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, again, like, I can see, like, this is as close as I can get. Mm -hmm. I look around and what's in focus. You have no idea what a freedom it was to throw away my eyedrops. <laughs> it was like this huge relief off my shoulders just to throw those away. Do you still have your glasses? I do not. What happened there? Oh, those went in the trash too the next day. <laughs> oh, you have more. Yeah. Just keep on bringing them out. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, when you have this bad of a prescription, you just, you keep them everywhere because they're your eyes. You can't see anything without them. Those are your eyes? These are, these were my eyes, yeah. Cause you, I couldn't even drive without, I couldn't walk to the bathroom without them. Like, oh, I never have to put these things on ever again. Pretty what amazing. Do, what do they represent to you? Um, something of the past. They're a pain. But it sounds like the contacts were a pain as well. They're, it's all a pain. And so now I never have to deal with that again. <laughs> is it different to a contact? Yeah, I see a lot better than a contact. Really? Um, and I could see really well in context. I can see better than I, I could, ever could with my contacts or glasses. And I think I was still seeing like, you know, 2025 or 2020 with the glasses. But I mean, I'm seeing 2015 now. And, you know, sometimes, you know, with your contacts, you're having to you know, close your eye and open it a couple times to really get the clarity. Your glasses, you're constantly cleaning them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's never as clear as, as, you know, just seeing right out your eyeball. You know, if my cornea was okay, I could have gone for LASIK, but that wasn't the case. Because of all of these corneal issues, I could, I could not go for LASIK. But another problem that I, that I was facing was the dryness. Mm -hmm. People who have dry eyes are not good candidates for, for LASIK because it will make the problem only worse. So it's, it's really amazing and uh, I'm still in, in a state of shock that, it's, that something like this is even possible. The incredible increase in you know, the ease of living your life is maybe the aspect Mm -hmm. um, instead of just the convenience of not having to deal with something like contacts or glasses, it's more now the ability to literally, you know, live your life without any concern or, or having to think about those other things. I had this fear that I would be walking home one night or something and someone would come and try and attack me and like my contacts would fall out and I'd be blind or like my glasses would fall off and I would be blind like and then when you're blind I mean you have a huge disadvantage so like that was a huge emotional justification for me to be completely honest that was one of my first thoughts. I would say at least with me it gave me more confidence to be able to be without glasses and I feel more attractive liberated I'm able to you know do things with my son without worrying about glasses, he doesn't step on them, he doesn't kick them. I don't have to look for my glasses. If he wakes up in the middle of the night, I can just get up and, you know, help him. Yeah. And I don't have to look for them. So I actually, today was the first day I finally worked out. I it was great. What did you think? I put sunglasses on and <laughs> drove my car straight to the gym and, and just, I didn't have to take them off and then be like, okay, so who's in the room today yeah. and <laughs> yeah so it's just it's very freeing freeing yeah i can't wait to go on my first run like mm -hmm. just and see you know to be able to do whatever i want whenever i want if i want to jump in a pool or if i want to go hike up the mountain or take a shower or put on my makeup and not have to worry i sleep in sometimes <laughs> or i actually eat breakfast and um, wear some makeup before I go to work occasionally. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's just, uh, I recommend it to anyone. Loved it. It was worth every single penny. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about that. M my family will go hungry on the street before I give up my eye surgery. <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> Does that put it into perspective? The, hit, the technology is insane. It's definitely the eyes of the future. Because <laughs> I could have caught LASIK when I was 18 years old, but I was terrified of it, and I didn't do it for a long time because I was scared of taking so much of my cornea off. Mm -hmm. And I think that once people realize that there's another option, they'll be able to experience the same like relief that I experience.